Welcome back guys. Alright, uh, back into another video. Hey, that guy in the car right there with the yellow kayak. I saw him later on in the day when uh, I was coming back. But uh, yeah, um, I finally learned how to use my, my GoPro, my camera a little bit better as far as in moving the camera while editing versus adjusting. But uh, yeah, this video is going to be a little bit different, a little bit fishing, a little bit of uh, talking. But um, yeah, um, came out and then um, I saw these two guys down there. So they're fixing, loading, getting some things done. And so I figure why go all the way down there and jam it up? I could be up here while I'm fixing some things that probably don't need to be fixed until I'm on the water but since I'm waiting might as well so I'm just sticking around waiting and usually for the most of the time I've seen people it's either 30 seconds to a minute maybe a minute 30 second most in and out um, yeah just waiting So a few people have been walking back and forth and around and I don't really like parking here because I'm in the way of foot traffic. So I try not to be in the way, but I'd rather be down there, but don't want to jam it up down there either. I'm not trying to pick on these two guys or this guy, but I'm using them as an example. You always want to check your gear, check your kayak, check everything, see if it's fitting properly, everything's working, everything is smooth. So that way, when you do get on the dock, you're in and out, on and off the water, or on the water. Because if it was a busier day or a tournament or just a whole bunch of kayakers here, um, this won't work or this won't be too good you will piss off people but i'm just waiting patiently while looking but um yeah check your stuff before you get on there so you don't block the the dock or the the only uh landing or getting onto the water area If you see that there is nobody behind you, no kayakers coming down or walking over, then yeah, you could take your time, enjoy it, make sure everything's all nice and neat. But as soon as you start seeing people coming in or another kayaker, try to move a little bit aside out of the loading zone because they might be in a hurry or they might want to get on the water. Or But uh, with a small dock like this, which pretty much hold mainly two kayaks, you really want to get in and out as fast as you can so right here there's nobody behind me so i'm showing you the full video of how long it actually takes me i'm not exactly fast too because of my uh tie down of the the wheels i like to carry my wheels with me so that when i do come back i could just put it on rather than going back to the car and grabbing my wheels in case there's people here waiting or trying to get the car off
gun and see if I could get on some halibut. We've been seeing some nice reports of people catching halibuts. Well, not nice, but people catching some. So, doesn't look like a lot of big ones, but it's still halibut to halibut. Catch is a catch. So, ooh, it's a lot of bait. Some fish in here, too. Good amount of people today. A lot of boats out there. Blue tigers, too. Look at this. It's almost like glass. It's like having a foot of swell, I think. Uh, maybe like a mile or two mile per hour wind. Where is it? Huh, what the heck? Is that a fish? Chewed off my trailer hook. What the heck? Wow, so weird. Well, so I'm gonna take the squid and the tail. Holy smokes. back in getting tired getting sleepy been up for too long <sighs> long drive back home um yeah the halibut doesn't want to bite i can't find them today uh, even the macro i can't even find macros usually you have a macro all around here with some anchovies but just a lot of rockfish and octopus 
people will love because they're out there and they're still out there. It's crazy. I'm hitting it. So this is the same guy from the beginning of the video who was in his car driving by as I was getting out of the parking lot. But uh, I paddled up and I saw him waiting and I'm like, what the heck is going on? And then I saw the other three kayakers that are trying to get on the water and another Hobie Outback that's sitting on the water. I wasn't sure this time if he was trying to get onto the dock or if he just waiting because he's right next to the dock where the yellow kayaker is just waiting patiently. So I'm like, okay, I'll sit back here and see what's going on. And I see that there's two of the green kayakers already on the water, but they're not quite moving away from the dock. One guy's still holding on the dock and then the girl, she's just hanging around. Usually when you're on the water, try to move away from the dock so that way the guy in the yellow kayak could pull his kayak up onto the dock and get himself situated ready and to slide it over so he could put on his wheels so we're just waiting so when you're on the dock you gotta pretend it's like a boat ramp because it pretty much is you need to learn um boat ramp etiquette same thing as dock etiquette um you want to keep it clear once you're on move around so it's clear so other people can get on and off you don't want to be doing any kind of prepping or setting up your kayak while you're on the dock either do it in the parking lot or do it on the water so i know these guys are probably pretty new to kayaking but with more and more kayakers and kayak fishermen and kayak fisherwomen and plus being on the weekend you gotta kind of be mindful spend your time pretty quickly because there will be people and if it's a holiday it will be even worse plus if there was a tournament it'll be even worse so you gotta practice good habit be quick and once you're on the water, clear it. Once you're on it, try to move in a timely fashion. I'm slowly waiting to go in. I'm letting the, the yellow guy, the yellow kayak guy, go in first to see where he's ending up or see where he's trying to land if he's gonna land on that big open the narrow or the super tiny one in the back so he decided to go to the tiny one in the back because it's a little bit safer because you can actually use your arm on the dock the handle and the other side of the dock and um there's a kayaker behind me right there in the orange if you can see me and then i'm waiting i'm trying to see if this guy right here in the outback is gonna go in but it looks like he's not moving so i figure he's just parking so I slowly cruise in to see if he's gonna mind me going in. So he doesn't mind, so figures my turn. Rock today? Uh, just a little rockfish. Uh, yeah, threw the hole back in. I was looking for halibut. Yeah, there's a lot of halibut back there. Yeah, I'm looking for halibut. Not too good today, even my buddy, they came out a few days ago, they didn't do too good either. Light bay or dead bay? Huh? Frozen bay or light bay? Uh, frozen? Mainly more squid. We tried the uh, uh, light jack snail today. Yeah. It was pretty good. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh damn. Yeah, I was trying to catch some bait, but I couldn't find any bait at all. Just outside the harbor. Okay. Right, let's shut it off. Oh, wrong side.
usually I'll spray down the whole kayak, wash all the salt off of all my gears, the kayak, so that way when I drag it back to the car, it's a lot cleaner. I won't have a salt stain on my car or, or paint job. But I saw this kayaker behind me, so I'm trying to hustle. I'm trying to move quick so he could get on and get out too, because after a long day of fishing, beat into the beat by the sun, beat by kayaking and fishing, you you kind of want to get off quick, go relax and take off your wetsuit and just drink something cold. So I'm trying to move as fast as possible so he could get on, because I could see him waiting in the back as I was spraying down. I highly recommend carrying your wheels with you. I mean, a lot of people don't like it because it's in the way. But especially like on the weekends or holiday, carry your wheels with you because it just make it so much faster than having my kayak parked there while the other guy's waiting while I walk into the parking lot to grab my wheels and then walk back and then load up and then drag out. And if there were more kayakers coming in, they're going to get pissed off. <laughs> But uh, yeah, just be mindful, uh, try to be quick, keep it clear, move fast, um, have your wheels on you, and yeah, boat or kayaking or boat dog etiquette, and yeah, keep it clear, so it's just faster for everybody, so you're not blocking anybody's way. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, same thing for the beach. Some beach are tiny, so once you drag your kayak onto the beach, try to move it aside or pull it up higher so that way other people could still uh, come back to shore at launch so they don't try to go somewhere unsafe.